Peggy For You is a play about the legendary Peggy Ramsey, who was the foremost play agent of her time from the 50s through to the 80s. I see her really sometimes a bit like Elizabeth I, you know, she's this queen with this court of men. I think people think about the, the journey of the writer and the cost of the writer and the cost of creativity, as well as having like a really good laugh, because it's funny, 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 funny. We've spoken to people who worked with Peggy and they always talk about as much as she was a kind of slightly impossible and frustrating, being in her company was always sort of inspiring and exciting. It's a day in the office of Peggy Ramsey, this whirlwind of, a, of, a, of an agent. Her relationship with staff and some of the writers that she looks after. There's a very young one, he's there to try and get her to come and see the first production of his first play. Another writer who was at the height of his success, he has a play in the West End, he has a play on Broadway. And then there's an older, cynical, northern writer <laughs> who hasn't quite amounted to the career that he thought he was entitled to. Tessa is Peggy's uh, assistant and she's sort of the calm and the steady to Peggy's madness, but I think she soaks it up, loves it, is learning from it and relishing every moment and being this kind of atmosphere. I've never worked in the way that Richard worked before, ever. I encourage it in the actor, be open. And they say, what's open? I say, well, Baby, young babies I could just eat. Mm. Well. Maybe not <laughs> maybe not say that to, to too many people. Yeah. He's the king of like planting the seed of an idea yeah. and then letting you interpret that. It'll make people laugh. People will have an enjoyable night in the theatre. Many audiences will say, I didn't realise Tamsin was so talented. <laughs> You're watching it having a great time and watching Tamsin be amazing. Yeah, and then, she's amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's really amazing. It's like an inversion of Hamlet, like it's a huge part. What's very intriguing about her is that she was so uninterested in the business and she was so interested in the necessary process of failure. It's very, very rare you get to be in a room with two national treasures who are wonderfully talented, who really deserve yeah. to be that. It's a, it's a real honour. She said, what? Why do you want to direct this play? And I said, because it's near my house and it's got a lift, which really what I should have said, <laughs> because you're in it. I feel personally that if people are going to make the effort to come out, it has to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it should be a really um, invigorating, fun, but also challenging experience. And I think that this play has all of those elements.